Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I'm going to show you how to move from your old iPhone to the new iPhone 13. In this case I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max and I have an iPhone 12. So how can we do this? There are different ways to do it but today I'm going to show you how to do one that you're going to do also a backup in your computer just in case. So I think this is a really good way because you're going to kill two birds with one stone. So we need a computer with enough hard drive storage and also we need the original cable that goes from USB A or USB C to the regular lighting cable. All right. So I'm going to connect my phone to the computer and you see what's going to happen. Right. So as soon as I connect the phone to the computer, you can see here on the left side that it says iPhone. If you click here, you're going to get all the information about this iPhone. You can see the software version is 15. You can see that is the iPhone 12. So here where it says backup, you have different options. The first one is to back up your phone to iCloud. The second one is to back up your phone to the Mac. And the third one is asking you if you want to encrypt the local backup. I will recommend you to encrypt it. So I'm going to select this. Back up all of the data on your iPhone to this Mac. And I'm going to press backup now. It says, do you want backups of iPhone to be encrypted? If you proceed without encryption, the backups will not include sensitive data. Restoring a device from a backup will result in loss of your safe passwords, health, and home key data. Okay, so you have the option to encrypt it. In this case, I'm going to encrypt it because I do want to keep my passwords. All right, I'm going to click encrypt backups. And it says, enter a password to protect your iPhone backup. This is really important, guys, because if you forget this password, you're not going to be able to retrieve that backup. And I'm going to set the password. And look at this. Immediately on my phone, it says, enter iPhone passcode. This is not the password I created. This is the regular passcode of my iPhone. As soon as I was able to do this, the backup is starting. Look at this. Backup iPhone. So you can see here that we are backing up the iPhone. And this is going to take a while. Okay guys, so our backup is done. You can see here, last backup to this Mac today at 1.53 p.m. And I want you to show you this, manage backups. You will see the iPhone today at 1.53. If you have more iPhones, you will see it here. So you can save a lot of backups on this computer. So then what would you do? Well, then, then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna disconnect this iPhone and we're gonna connect the other one. And this is the new iPhone 13 Pro Max. Let's see what happens. Look at this, it's called iPhone 2, and I'm gonna click trust. And also on the iPhone, they're gonna ask me trust this computer. I'm gonna click trust. They're gonna ask me for a passcode. And that's it, you can see the information about this iPhone, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. What we're gonna do here is we are going to restore a backup. Here we only have one, but if you have more than one, you will have the list here. But in this case, we're gonna select this iPhone today at 153. It's asking us for the password that we create, not for the phone, but for the backup. And I'm going to click restore. Find mine must be turned off before iPhone 2 can be restored. We're going to go to settings. And I think it's here, right? Find mine. And we're going to look, find mine is on. And we're going to disconnect it. They're going to ask me for my password. I'm going to put it. And that's it. Now it's off. I'm going to click continue. I'm going to click OK. No activity at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restore backup again. Password. Now it's starting to do something. And now we know that it's doing something because it says restore in progress. The only bad thing is that it doesn't tell us how long it's going to take. So I guess we have to wait. That's Apple for you. And finally, we can see here that we have some kind of graphic display of how long it's going to take. So right now it's barely a quarter of the whole restore. All right, guys, and we finished because all the bubble is gone. So what's happened on the new iPhone? It's still saying restore in progress and it's getting a little bit warm. All right. OK, looks like it's done because now it finished. Kind of eject the phone and now the screen is blank. I'm going to turn it on. Right there. Let's see what happened. And it looks like it's done, guys. I'm going to put it like that. Look at this. Restore completed. Apps and data will continue downloading in the background. OK, click continue. It's going to ask me for my Apple ID password. It says updating iCloud settings. Enter old passcode. Enter iPhone passcode. The passcode you use to unlock this iPhone will also be used to access safe passwords. All right. Now it says uh, Apple Pay. And I will say set up later in wallet. iCloud Keychain. It says keep the passwords and credit cards information you save secure and up to date on the devices you approve. The information on your keychain is encrypted and cannot be read by Apple. Click continue and it says welcome to iPhone. 
And as you can see, all the apps are downloading on the background. They kept my old wallpaper, but I can change that really quick by going to wallpaper. This is the new one. I'm gonna press set in both screens. And that's how we have the new uh, wallpaper. Some apps I'm gonna have to log in again and the financial apps, the same with, look at this, this is uh, what's up, but everything works fine. So this is killing two birds with one stone. The only problem is that you do need a, a MacBook computer or a PC. And plus, we already have a backup just in case, you know? Let's say we don't like the size of the new iPhone 13 Pro Max. We don't like the size, it's too heavy, too big. And then we decided to return it to Apple. Then we can go back to this phone because first of all, I didn't delete it. And second of all, if let's say in case I delete it, I can uh, restore it from the backup. Your Apple ID and iPhone number are now being used for iMessage and FaceTime on a new iPhone. And that's it guys, I was able to transfer all my information from my old iPhone 12 to the new iPhone 13 Pro Max. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, that way you will support my channel. And if you support my channel, I will be able to create more videos for you. Thank you and take care. Bye.